Hey everyone, Rob Gagne here with Boboda. Welcome to another episode of Unbox Live. I'm excited to actually get into something that is coming up in June. It's Father's Day. We all know it. We all kind of sometimes freak out about it because what the heck gift are we going to get for that father in our life? Grandfathers, fathers, other dads, new dads. That's me. Um, so what do we do? How do we know what gift to give them? And I'm excited to actually unbox something that I think is actually worthwhile um, and probably one of the more unique products that I've seen out on the market for cigars and a hobby. Particularly this hobby relates to being outside. Just the whole aesthetic that this whole package brings to me is something super unique. So of course, as we go through this, there are many other Father's Day gifts out there and shoot them down in the comment because we're all here to help each other make this whole holiday a lot easier to shop for and also give something of meaning. Our fathers uh, and the people who are fathers in our lives, they like stuff of value, not necessarily just another mug or another hat possibly. Maybe they want something that works for their life, their lifestyle. So. But obviously, this uh, I, I love hats, so I had to get one of Big Sky's hats. So we are unboxing Big Sky Cigar Company out of Montana. Um, I had the pleasure of interviewing the founders of this company, so you're going to want to watch out for a, a, a box press where I will be releasing that hopefully within the next, I would say, 12 weeks. We'll be releasing that. And really... What I thought was interesting about Big Sky Cigar Company was the fact that there was a stat that the Billings Gazette pulled up was New York produced more cigars in the early 1900s than Cuba, and the actual number is 10 to 1. So New York produced more cigars, 10 times the amount of cigars than Cuba. That trickled across the entire west of the United States. And as the railroad and other things were being built out, these migrant workers continued on that tradition of hand-making cigars. So the story goes, you can actually open up a cigar factory or a cigar store with $3 back in those days. And, and in fact, you could get a credit from the tobacco supplier to say, hey, help me open up my store. And they would say, sure, we'll give you credit on tobacco for three bucks. That's amazing. That whole story is super entrenched in Billings, Montana and the Montana area where Big Sky comes from. They had like over a hundred some odd factories and each factory would probably for a medium sized factory have about 10 rollers or 10 uh, producers in it. So this whole story to me is like, bringing cigars back to the United States. We always think like, hey, cigars are, you know, in the Caribbean, in the Bahama area, in the tropics area, that's where they get made. You know, that's the quintessential, like Cuba, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, all of those places are big buzzwords for us, for us as cigar smokers. But little do we know that in our own backyard, Billings, Montana, New York, I'm sure Chicago and other places, cigars were hugely produced. In fact, more than Cuba, over 10 times more. So this story to me was super eye-catching. The whole packaging that they bring, Big Sky, was amazing. And I want to unbox a couple of things right here, right in front of you. Get your reaction. Let me know what you think. I think it's cool. Hopefully you do too. So we got a couple of five packs um, and I'll get into these. Um, these are great. I mean, just the, it's all cedar with the, the Boveda is obviously, they package everything with Boveda. So it's all there. I just love the presentation this has. They always have a, a card in here that tells you the, the backstory of the actual cigar, where it comes from, because a lot of their cigars, well, in fact, I think all of them are named after like destinations or basically big landmarks in Montana. So the one that I'm holding right now is called the Big Sky. And the cool story, just 
it's based off of the um, the waters, the the wedding of the waters in central Wyoming. And Big Sky obviously is just meant that's kind of like Montana's slogan. It's Big Sky State. So they just named it after that. Um, it's a really dark cigar. It's like probably one of the darkest Maduros that I've seen out there. And in fact, it is super palatable, very, it's not as strong as it looks. And that's one of my favorite things about this one. The, the band on it is an amazing blue. Um, I don't know if you can really see that, but you can go to their website, bigskyscigars.com. Sorry, Big Sky Cigar, singular.com. Love this cigar. It was the first cigar of theirs that I actually had. And I would, if you haven't tried their cigars, I would definitely try Big Sky. It's phenomenal. But just the presentation, the reason I like this type of presentation is because it gifts really, really well. It comes basically pre-gift wrapped. All you need to do is put this in a nice, either Boba to one your humidor bag, makes a great gift wrap because then that person has a, a bag to keep these in for a whole year. Or, you know, if you just have a sandwich bag, you can do that, but it's sandwich bags don't make the best barrier. So I would give them, give them this in a Boba to humidor bag and they would be set. Great presentation. Uh, the other five pack is actually their flagship called the Yellowstone. Um, this is their Connecticut. It's a beautiful Connecticut. Black label, gold writing, phenomenal. I have not even smoked this one yet, so I can't tell you anything about how I feel about it because um, I haven't smoked it. But again, I love the story, the backstory on the, the card. We're, we're familiar with this with like Fuente and other people. We love the story. That's why we smoke cigars. The story is part of the experience, in my opinion. And Big Sky does, or they, all of these lines do a really good job of doing that. So uh, Big Sky, the Yellowstone, but uh, Big Sky Cigar Company does a really good job of doing that. And in fact, I'm smoking the Bitterroot, which is their newest cigar, came out at TPE. Um, I was able to pick up a, a five pack from them for that. So you'll probably need to watch their website, see when it comes out, um, should be coming out soon. If any of you have tried Big Sky, leave a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite. I want to know which ones you're smoking, which, you, which ones you like, and why, maybe. But the whole reason I wanted to highlight this on Unboxed Live today was this fly box. It's a five pack of the Yellowstone. It has 12 hand tied flies and a cigar cutter. Now, I don't fly fish. I would love to because I think it's probably the quintessential fly uh, fishing. Um, it's like the, the top level of fishing, in my opinion, because you have to actively do something. It gets you outside. And in fact, the stories that are built into these cigars, as far as like the inspiration of how they name them, that's everything that they're writing about. Being out next to the river, enjoying nature, enjoying a cigar while you fly fish or just fish in general. Who doesn't want to smoke a cigar while they're fishing? Personally, it's the only reason why I fish. So I don't know why you wouldn't want this to be a part of it. The presentation again, these cedar boxes are handmade. Again, you have the whole story behind the cigar packaged with Boveda. You get a cigar cutter. And this is a, you know, I would say this is an entry level cigar cutter, but it's going to do you just fine, especially too if that person doesn't have the tools already. It's a nice way to just have it all there. And more importantly, extra cigar cutters are always nice to have on hand. But that presentation is unbelievable. There are five cigars, the 12 flies that are all hand tied. And this was actually featured in Fly Fishing Magazine's Father's Day gift buying guide. So you're gonna see this out there. Um, it's, it's second to none. I think it's just a really cool way of presenting a whole 
if you got a fly fisher in your life, or if you even have somebody that likes fishing, this is just a cool way of like saying, hey, I see you. I know you like fishing and I know you like cigars. This is cool. So um, I've been, a, again, a, a fan of this company um, ever since they came out and started working with Boveda to package everything. The product tastes great. It is truly premium cigars. I never knew the history behind all of the production that we used to do in the United States. I had no idea that we came from a legacy of producing more cigars in Cuba. That just blew my mind. So it's a, it's a great, great company to not only experience their cigars, but also get some gift giving ideas. Whether you're picking one of the five packs because of how well it, uh, it looks, or if you're actually gonna go with a, the fly fishing box um, with 12 hand tied flies and five cigars, I mean, and a cigar cutter, why not? Or if you wanna get some swag, uh, great hats, uh, great shirts. It's a cool company to work with personally, but also a cool company to support and smoke their cigars. So I see some people in the comments, um, they've already smoked them. Uh, it's just Manny said he just got it from what subscription did he just get it from? Provada Cigar Club, Batista. Not sure if that one's, is that by us or by Big Sky? I'm not sure. Definitely a sharp gift box. That's basically it, you guys. I mean, this is all, again, what, what are we looking for for Father's Day and for just gift giving ideas? I wanted to highlight this because I think it's second to none. It's the most unique thing I've seen out there. Who else has cigars and hand tied flies coming in, in a box with a cigar cutter? Nobody else. BigSkyCigar.com. And again, if you need anything from us, BovidaInc.com. We got everything you need to keep those cigars fresh. And if you're giving cigars, if you're just giving somebody cigars, instead of putting them in a shop bag, put them in a Boveda humidor bag. They're going to last a whole year in there. The person is not going to freak out that their cigars got too dry or ruin their investment or the gift that you gave them. Uh, the Boveda Humidor bag is the essential gift giving bag if you're giving cigars. It's the only way I do it because it makes a lasting impression and that person can use that cigar bag indefinitely. Just keep replacing the Boveda pack and they're good to go. So head over to BovedaInc.com if you need to pick up a one-year humidor bag for that gift that you're giving this Father's Day. And as always, thanks for joining us. Thanks for commenting below. And again, if you have ideas on gifts for Father's Day, leave them in the comments below. Let's help each other out, point each other in the right direction. And again, let's see what we can get that's valuable for those fathers in our lives. So that's just not another mug or dare I say hat. Those are all valuable, but hey, we all like smoking cigars. We look good while we do it, but we like smoking cigars. So let's get stuff that helps us smoke more cigars. Appreciate you. Have a great weekend and thanks for watching.